Hello, if you've been reading the news lately or maybe scrolling through your phone and reading the headlines, you may feel like the real estate markets everywhere are crashing and the sky is falling. Well, I wanted to share with you what is happening in the Houston real estate market right now in real time. This just released data came from HAR and I'm going to share with you active listings, pending sales and closed sales and what we're actually experiencing right now in real time. So the good news is that Houston is not necessarily like San Diego or New York or even Aspen. So while those markets are definitely feeling a lot of um, downturn, we're not quite the same position. So we are experiencing a little bit of a shift though. So instead of being maybe from a white hot market, we're just cooling a little bit to a hot market. So now let's get to the numbers. So right now, there's just over 29,000 active listings currently on MLS. And that number has been slightly taking upwards every month since February. So what that means is there's more stuff for buyers to choose from, which is great news, but for sellers, there is more competition. So real estate economists will tell us that six months of inventory is considered a balanced market. So right now in Houston, we have two and a half months of inventory, which is still a strong seller's market. So it's still strong for sellers, but there's not a buying frenzy like there was just a few months ago. So what does that mean for both buyers and sellers? Well, if you are selling your home right now or thinking about it, there are less buyers out there for a greater number of properties. And we're also seeing that builders are giving us some competition as well because they're offering more incentive to, to buyers such as um, you know, more incentives, and that could be in terms of blinds or appliances, and then they're also offering some financial incentives like a lower interest rate, better than the market, the resale market. So those are some things we need to be prepared for. So in order to raise yourself in the competition, here are some things we can do. One is you must price your home appropriately for the current market. So we're not pricing it like we would have in January. We have to adjust. So make sure you speak to either myself or another trusted agent who can really look at the comps and go over specifics about your neighborhood and about your specific property. The second thing we want to do is position your home with advertising and marketing so that you can um, really showcase your value of your property. So we want to, the buyers to be able to perceive value. So how do we do that? We do that with staging and we do that with highlighting all of the updates and things you've done. Super, super important. And then the last thing is you want to prepare yourselves for when the offers come in that you may be giving some concessions. So right now what that looks like is seller paying for title. They may be offering some repairs or repair costs to the buyer, things like this. So these things are back in play as they've been forever, but they're here again right now in this market. So those are some things the buyers, sorry, the sellers can do in order to stay on top of this market. And then of course, this also affects the buyers. They'll be looking for the exactly the same thing. So one interesting data point that just came out in the most recent um, HAR press release was that the sales and all price points are decreasing except for the price point of 500,000 to a million. So in this um, price band, sales increased by 10%. So that still shows that there's plenty of buyers out there who are willing and able to purchase. So we are still in a really healthy market. Um, pretty strong seller's market, things are selling pretty quickly. The average time on market right now for single family homes is 31 days. So what that means is if the home is properly priced and staged well and presented well, things are selling in one month, which is really good. So you know that I'm going to keep it real for you. I just wanted to share this important information with you because I'm also reading the headlines and it looks pretty scary out there. But just keep in mind that the headlines and the data that's reported is, is historical. So yes, it's recent and we should take note of that, but I'm feeling the changes in the market because I'm in the field every day. So if you have any questions about your specific neighborhood or maybe some areas that you're looking into, please reach out to me and I will get you the most relevant data for what's happening for you. I look forward to speaking to you very soon. Thank you. Bye.